Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Roller Coast Tycoon 2. In this episode, uh, well, you could see it in the title, I will uh, see if I can make a coaster to break the speed of sound. Now, this uh, map is the one we used in uh, multiplayer round 28, and this round every player had to create uh, a cannon that would shoot a coaster car as far as possible across the map. Now, the first approach that uh, most people took to make their coaster go fast was to uh, build a giga coaster with, uh, with booster drag pieces. Um, I also probably have to mention uh, some rules this round had. There was a height limit of 50 meters and every cheat was uh, allowed except the unlock operating limits cheat. Just to make it a little bit more difficult. But also with the unlock operating limits cheat, uh, you would not be able to get your coaster uh, to a high enough uh, speed anyway. So, um, well, to begin with, let's uh, try the first approach. So I'll just make a giga coaster here and we'll just use a booster track. The maximum speed with boosters you can get is 215 kilometers per hour. It's not nearly fast enough. But let's uh, boost it like this anyway. Just to make sure it gets uh, to the maximum speed. I'm not sure actually if it reaches the maximum speed, but we'll find out uh, soon enough. Of course, I could just let it go in a circle, do several circuits, but uh, things like these are more fun uh, if you actually launch the coaster and see it take off. So, um, I will just uh, disable clearance check so I can build the entrance and exit right here. Uh, I'll just make them invisible so they don't distract us. And let's, uh, let's see our coaster fly off. So, there it goes. And it almost reaches the maximum speed. And it reaches the fifth, uh, the fifth mark. There's 22 marks, by the way, and the 22nd mark. Uh, oh, when we go a little bit further, the coasters uh, fly into the void where they uh, immediately explode. <laughs> so this one got to the fifth mark. Well, um, of course, this video is called "Breaking the Speed of Sound." Uh, it's 200 kilometers per hour. I think the speed of sound is around uh, 1,200 kilometers per hour. So this was nowhere. Uh, near that. Well, one thing uh, some people tried in the cannon round was just uh, make the coaster launch a bit higher. Of course it won't get any faster because of that, but it maybe will launch a little bit further. But yeah, this is not uh, really not the, the way to go. Uh, a method I myself experimented with was the Reverse freefall coaster. As you uh, may know, the reverse freefall coaster just keeps uh, accelerating as long as it is on a straight track. Uh, you can also put other coaster cars on this uh, on this ride type, as long as the ride type is the reverse freefall coaster, and they will just keep uh, accelerating. So um, there's a of course it will keep accelerating up to a point. Uh, it has a maximum velocity and it is actually quite easy to find out. So for that um, I will just do a little trick here. I will just copy and paste this track piece and rotate it and continue building like this and I'll repeat these steps. Now, and if we uh, send this coaster car along its way, now it will just keep infinitely accelerating until it reaches its maximum speed. Now, if we fast forward the game a bit, the highest speed possible. Okay, it looks actually it actually looks uh, slower now, but it is uh, going really fast. And we can see its maximum speed is 257 kilometers per hour. Now, actually, uh, 
that's also not very impressive. There are ways to increase this speed. Uh, one way is to let's use a different coasted train. Let's show vehicles from other track types. And let's disable vehicle limits as well. So let's put a different uh, car type. Let's use the floorless twisted trains. And let's give it the maximum amount of cars per train that's possible. And that way uh, we make sure that the mass of the train is the highest it can be. You can also use console uh, commands to increase the mass of the of a train. And trains with a higher mass will actually uh, be faster than trains with a lower mass. So the previous one went, uh, I already forgot, it was probably 257 kilometers per hour. So let's see how fast uh, this one will go. So let's uh, fast forward it. So this, this train uh, looks short but actually has 255 cars. And the train is so short because the uh, station is very short. So there's actually 255 cars here but they're really uh, squashed uh, together and as you can see here let's uh, lower the speed a bit it's going at 490 uh, kilometers per hour now uh, of course we cannot let this uh, car fly off the track actually I know a way it's no fun this track is no fun if we don't at least uh, launch it off somehow Well, there we go. <laughs> Even though it flew uh, almost uh, horizontal, it still got as far as the other coaster, which had a little ramp at the end. But yeah, this one went 490 uh, kilometers per hour. I think that uh, if we would have made a ramp here at the end, it would have gotten uh, till until the end of the map. I know that because in the multiplayer round 28 where everybody had to build a cannon, I built a ride like that accelerated in uh, in this way. There's uh, one other way that I know to uh, make your uh, coaster go even faster. So as already as a kid, I sometimes uh, just try to get a coaster go as fast as uh, humanly possible. So for that, I would just. Uh, Build like this. Okay, I'll just use the vertical drop roller coaster here, just so we can have a smaller, uh, well, tighter drop here. And let's go vertical for a little bit here. And here I'll switch to twister coaster again. And here we'll make another launched lift hill. I use the launch lift hill because the coaster barely loses uh, speed on it. And we can just continue this pattern. I will build one more of these. Alright, um, building a coaster like this is an excellent way to get your trains to accelerate to uh, insanely high speeds. So basically what happens, your train leaves the station, it goes up the launch lift hill, it will accelerate here, then it goes down the vertical drop, it will accelerate uh, even more, and then the pattern just uh, repeats. And these coasters can be used to uh, generate an insane amount of speed. Now let's uh, give this train the maximum amount of cars, and let's see how fast it will go on this little piece of track. Alright, let's send her off. Alright, there she goes. So it accelerates quite fast here, especially on the vertical drops. And of course the track ends here. But it already surpassed the other ones. Probably also because of the higher ramp here at the end. Anyway, um, you can imagine that to uh, 
to abuse this to its fullest, we would need to make a giant coaster here. We would need to uh, repeat this pattern a lot of times. But of course, just like uh, we did on this little piece of track, we can actually uh, do it in a different way here. Alright, so I'll uh, make the compact the design a little bit more compact and we can do that by actually using the tile inspector. So we'll just uh, copy and paste this piece here and rotate it around, that way it merges with itself. And we'll repeat the pattern. And then the coaster will just zigzag upwards on this piece of track. Now let's stick to our height limit of 50 meters. Okay, and then here we just make a vertical drop downwards. Okay, we have the maximum amount of uh, cars per train. And I think this uh, coaster should let us, uh, well, I already know that this coaster should let us reach the, well, a really insanely high speed. I will uh, play this without fast forwarding, just because uh, it will just reach an insanely high speed. Meanwhile, I will also uh, recolor it, just to make it look a little bit more badass. Alright, the coaster is now going. Let's give it a nice little color here. Alright, I like these colors. Let's disable the rain here. Alright, the two loops is already over. Well, <laughs> it's just so hard to keep up with this. Okay, we're already at uh, 300 kilometers per hour, and at every uh, vertical drop, it just uh, increases a little bit more. Well, this one uh, really capped at 500 kilometers per hour, and this one just uh, still keeps accelerating. Now, I will now just uh, fast forward the game a little bit, and let's just see how fast it will uh, go, finally. In the end, this is also what it will look like when we don't fast forward. Alright, we're already over a thousand kilometers per hour. Let's watch this at normal speed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good luck keeping up with this. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Alright, and there you have it. I think this is uh, the terminal velocity of this coaster. It goes at over 1300 kilometers per hour. So that means we broke the speed of sound with this uh, with this thing. And it just it's just <laughs> insanely, insanely fast. Now, of course, it uh, wouldn't be fun if we wouldn't uh, abuse this to actually launch a coaster incredibly fast. So that's what we will do uh, next. Of course, uh, our final coaster uh, won't be launched at this speed because uh, we would need a lot of track to uh, reach it, but uh, we'll let it go really fast. Anyway, to do this, uh, there's a little trick that I will use. I will just build uh, outside this uh, plot for now. So, what we'll do here is uh, I'll make the station of the track here. And I'll make a turn here. And then I'll build backwards. Actually, I think the station can be one tile to the back. Alright. So, from the station backwards, there are two straight pieces. And on the first straight piece backwards, there's also a turn here to the right. Now, if we check in Tile Inspector, the piece with the turn is actually a lower here in the list. So that means the trains that are here in the back will actually follow the curved track. Now, because the train is uh, very long, 
well it actually has 255 cars uh, because there's a track behind the station the cars will spawn well start, they start at the front of the station then they will spawn backwards up until this piece and actually uh, if a station is too short or there's not enough track behind it the cars will spawn but the cars that normally wouldn't fit they all end up here in the back all bunched together so in the end we'll probably have uh, five or six trains here in the front and the other 250 trains they will all fo actually follow this curve so we will actually split the train in two here and uh, which uh, is called uh, shoe stringing so some of the cars will follow this track some of the cars will follow this track but they are still the tra same train so they do uh, share the same speed and that's what we will abuse here so part of the uh, train with the with the most cars will be following this track and just keeps accelerating and the other part of the train uh, we will just make a really long track here uh, the reason we will make it really long is just so the train can pick up a lot of speed and then at the end we'll make a ramp and see how fast we can uh, launch it off the off the cliff here and <laughs> probably very far into the void so let's uh, make a nice little track here by the way I will just use the river rapids uh, track I will change it back to a different type later but the, I will just, just use this track to make it uh, easy to see where I'm building and I can also use the tight turns this way Alright, all this clicking is making my hand go numb, so uh, I think I'll just leave it at this. Now I will just make a small ramp here at the end, because probably this small ramp is all we need. Uh, well, if we made the ramp any bigger, probably the cars would go fly so high that they would just uh, disappear. And there would be no fun in that. Uh, we will want a small explosion. So let's uh, change it to the twister roller coaster type here. Now I made it so that in the beginning you can see the shoestring part in action. So let's quickly build entrance and exit here. Let's change it to no entrance. Let's see if the shoestringing works. Okay, perfect. The last uh, cars of the train now follow this track and they will make sure the coaster accelerates and it should go pretty fast. Alright, it's already going at uh, 300 kilometers per hour now. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah it got it got quite far here uh, at this speed anyway just to summarize what we did in this video well first uh, we built this coaster with a booster it went around uh, 200 kilometers per hour we saw that the reverse freefall coaster would accelerate up to 500 km per hour. And we made this uh, contraption that could go up to uh, 1300 km per hour. Of course, I made this uh, delay track here. Just so we could uh, use the speed to launch it. But of course, at the end, in the end we only launched it at around 500 km per hour. Um, if you watch the video of multiplayer around 28, there uh, you could see uh, 
that Marcel, also known from his uh, YouTube channel, he actually also built a coaster like this, but he completely filled the filled his plot with track, but he made it invisible, and that coaster just shot off at the end at over a thousand kilometers per hour, <laughs> and he could almost shoot it uh, horizontally to the to the end. So yeah, that was quite impressive. But yeah, this is uh, I think this is the way to reach the highest speed highest speeds possible in Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, is the information in this video useful? Eh, probably not, unless you're trying to make a really fast, uh, insanely fast ride. Was it fun to build? Yes, definitely. These uh, things are really fun to do. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one. See you later.